This shit gotta get the fuck out of me. Uh uh. Mm -mm. This shit gotta cut. You need to leave. channel um as you can see i'm doing a video by myself my boyfriend's not here but as you can see by the title the tell a story time about the time i had <coughs> <coughs> coronavirus miss rona yep i had it and it was the worst and also this is for mukbang i got me some wendy's i got um this chicken bacon ranch sandwich and some fries. And girl, you know I had to come with the strawberry lemonade because you know when these strawberry lemonade be busted. So I had to come with it. So we finna just get started because I know y'all want to know, like, how did I get that? Well, I'm finna tell you right now. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on my social medias down below. And we're just gonna get started into this score time. Oh, and excuse me if I be stuttering, like, because I'm about to eat, so my words might get mixed up. But anyways, so, you know, this happened because, so my boyfriend, you know, he works in a warehouse, right? So a warehouse is, like, a whole bunch of people have work there. Mostly guys work in a warehouse, but, you know, some ladies work there, too. So one day, you know, he told me that, told me his allergies was bothering him. And I was like, oh, did you take your medicine? Because he has medicine for his allergies and stuff. So I was like, did you take your medicine? He was like, yeah, but it's not working. So I was like, hmm, that's weird. Because, of course, you got allergies, your allergy medicine should work because it's for you, right? So I was like, hmm, that's weird. <laughs> So, sorry, I don't want to have my food up here, but so yeah, I was like, hmm, that's weird. Why isn't your allergy medicine working? So he just kept telling me his throat itch, um, his nose running. We thought it was his allergies and stuff. So days went by. And you know me, I'm all up on my man. I was kissing him, touching him, hugging him, all that stuff. So, I'm all up on my man. I'm just thinking it's just allergies. But, it wasn't. So, this happened around, like, nighttime. His brother, his brother got up and started throwing up. And I'm just like, what? talking about you your your throat itch yo it's just a whole lot he's talking about his throat itch then his brother wake up and throw up so i'm just like what is going on like is this a virus going around that i don't know about like do i need to you know what i'm saying so his brother throws up and so the next morning his mom they took them to the um emergency room to see what was going on because you know something ain't added up like you know you're not supposed to be doing that on a regular so his mom takes him to the emergency room of course they take the test he tests positive now mind you we all live in the same household right so if his brother's positive and my boyfriend's talking about his throat itch put two and two together let's put two together and i'm up on him hugging him touching him kissing him all that spreading saliva saliva germs to germs i'm like mind you his brother do not go nowhere his friend's house and that's it so i'm thinking like how did his brother catch corona his brother don't even go nowhere so i look back at my boyfriend i'm like but my boyfriend do and my boyfriend's talking about his throat so i'm just like 
Yeah, he got Corona. Yep, he got Corona. Yep, that's where he got it from. My boyfriend. That's where he got it from. So I'm just like, I'm freaking out. I'm at work while this is happening. I'm freaking out. I'm like, bro, I'm at work right now. Like, what if I got it? Da da da. Like, am I supposed to tell my um my manager? I'm supposed to tell my boss? Like, what what do I have to do? Cause I'm I'm panicking right now. So my boyfriend was like, Yeah, you got it. You got it. Cause you was all up on me and da 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 and this and that. So I'm just like, bro, are you serious? And at first, I was starting to feel a little sick. I like I was coughing like a, a little bit. Like I was coughing like, like you shouldn't be coughing like that every single day. So I was coughing, and I'm just like, bro, I knew something was up because I had like this itchy sensation in my throat, and it was just it wasn't going away at all. So I was like, bro, what is going on in my body? Like, mm -mm, it better not be the Rona. It better not be the Rona. It better not be. Miss girl, so I'm just freaking out. I'm at work, mind you. I'm a cashier, so I'm in people's faces every single day. But I got a mask on. But still, I'm still touching people. I'm still handing people over, like just you know, interacting with people on a daily basis. So I'm just like, oh my god, I cannot have this while I'm working. Like no. So, um, I leave, and I my boyfriend he leaves work, whatever, and I leave work. So. We go back to the house, whatever, and I'm just looking like we all got corona. Like, we seriously all got corona because, you know, it's spreading around the house. So, we just sitting up there like, yep, we got it, we got it, ain't nothing we can do about it, we got it. And basically, they said there's no, like, medicine for it, there's no, like, um, cure or nothing. Like, you can't really do nothing about it. All you really can do is just take vitamin C and see what's gonna happen so me you know what what i did i went to go to the store and buy me hella tea because tea would detox your body and stuff i want to go be hella tea vitamin c emergency um what's that medicine called um thermoflu i want to go buy that too boy i went all out because i was like this shit gotta get the fuck out of me uh, -uh. Mm -mm. this shit gotta go you need to leave it's like this shit, I went to go buy disinfectant spray, some wipes, all that. That shit got to leave my body right now. So we all had it. We all sitting up in the room, like, okay. I told my job. They told me we had a quarantine for ten days. At first, my job was tripping because they was like, oh, well, you got a quarantine for seven days and come back. Seven days. That's not enough to quarantine. You're supposed to quarantine 10 days through 14 days. 10 days. If anybody, if, if y'all job tell y'all to quarantine for 7 days, don't do it. You have to quarantine for 10 to 14 days. And if they don't know that, then you should tell them because that's how people get corona in the first place. When they come back sooner than they were supposed to come back. Like, no. So, yeah, it was just crazy. And guess what, y'all? I had corona on my birthday. Yes, I had corona on my birthday and I couldn't do shit. I did nothing but stay in the house all day, sniffling, coughing, sneezing all day, bro. All day. And I just felt like, oh my God, this is the, like, if I say I had a worst birthday, no. That was my worst birthday ever in my whole entire life. You never want to be sick on your birthday. You never want to be sick on your birthday. Because it's just like, it's your birthday that you're supposed to celebrate. You supposed to have fun. You supposed to do whatever you want to do on your birthday. I couldn't even do what I want to do on my birthday because I'm sick. I couldn't even go outside because I'm sick. That's how bad it was, y'all. Like it was just so terrible. Like I don't ever want to experience that again. Like now I know to wear a mask. And y'all, let's talk about the vaccines now. Supposedly the vaccines are supposed to prevent the virus to get to you. But now, nah, baby, people still getting the vaccines and still getting corona. It is not preventing nothing. You you can still get corona if you take the vaccine. I hope y'all know that, right? I hope y'all know that. You can still get corona if you still take the vaccine. And, like, I'm not really going to speak on it too much because I'm not really a politician. I'm not going to get into that. But that's just my opinion. Like, if you want to go take the vaccine, that's your choice. But don't force people 
If they don't want to do it, they don't have to do it. Period. Don't go try to throw in their face. Oh, yeah, you should go take it. You should go take it. Like, if they don't want to do it, they don't have to. Don't try to force people to take a damn vaccine. Like, come on now. It's their rights. It's not your body. It's their body. If you want to go take it, that's fine. That's you. Whatever. Do what you got to do. But I'm not trying to go take no damn vaccine. The fuck? Who do I look like putting something in my body that I don't even know about? It don't mean to kind of y'all put anything else in your body. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. If I don't want it, I don't want it. I'm not going to take it. And I don't even like needles. So why the fuck would I even volunteer myself to take a vaccine? Like, come on now. No. But yeah, y'all, it's just... Y'all, the corona is it's like a cold, but then again, it's like it's like a cold and a fever at the same time. Because I remember when I was at Walmart, like, I felt so hot, y'all. Like, I really felt so hot. I feel like my body was boiling inside. Like, I, I, I knew I had a fever because I was like, why am I so hot? Like, y'all, I was hot as hell, so I knew I had a fever going on. So, it's just like a cold and a fever at the same time. I don't know how that happens, but it feels like... I don't know, it feels like I couldn't breathe, like, it was just a whole lot, and I'm just like, bro, get this out of my body now, like, mm -mm. I was not fucking with it, so, I mean, it's as bad how the government make it look, you know what I'm saying, the government making it look like, oh, if you get it, you can die, I mean, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna sit here and people and say that people did die, but, it just all depends on your immune system, you know, and, and and how old are you, you know what I'm saying? Of course, people that's, you know, older than me might have difficulties with the virus if they do get it, I don't know. But me, like, it was just really a cold for me because, you know what I'm saying? But the government is really ma and making it seem like it's so, so deadly. Like, oh my God, it's so deadly. Like, y'all, don't be, don't be, um watching the news and don't be getting so like scared of the government because the government wants us to be scared i hope y'all do know that the government wants to be scared and panic and do all this and buy all this shit to be cautious and all that like it's just i don't know they're just doing so much for me but yeah but that's basically it y'all can see i barely ate my food in this video because i was just trying to tell y'all i wasn't really trying to eat but I hope y'all like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you know anybody that had a corona, let me know their experience down below. If you had the corona, let me know your experience down below. Because I know I'm not the only person that had a corona. And what about it? And what about it? I had it. Yep. What about it? What about it? But not for real. It's something really to brag about. But I just came here and told y'all my experience and how I got it. Basically, I got it from my boyfriend. So, yeah. That's really about it. It's really nothing to it. Hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my social medias. And don't forget to tune in to the next video because we got more bangers coming. Period. Let's get it.